What does that mean? If you have a problem of some kind that's congenital, you give it to the baby, her DNA is not going to get into the future. She's selfish about that. She wants to pick a good man to get her DNA into the future. Another key concept is pressure or persistence. Persistence is attractive. Pressure is unattractive. You have to be willing to walk away. When things aren't looking good, leave. And she wonders, why did he quit? What's the matter? Didn't he have any balls? So she'll come after you again the next time you're in the restaurant or in that class. She'll do something to let you know, keep coming. But if you pressure her, oh, come on, let's go down to the cafeteria. Nobody cares. None of that stuff. Oh, no, 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 no pressure. There's some stories in about here about how I fucked up. So you don't have to fuck up. Patience during courtship. I wrote a letter to my friend while I was writing the book probably in 87. He had moved to Hawaii, my dream. And I said, Dennis, you know what I've learned? The patience is mandatory when you're courting young women. But it's mandatory here because they move at a different pace. They are much slower because you're older or you're more powerful or you're the quarterback. For some reason, she's going slow. That's okay. Don't push. Here's a don't for older men. It takes time and she has plenty of it. You don't think you have any time left, but you do. It says here you will be tested by the gods also. The gods that protect young women from lecherous old men and young men that want to fuck them. Okay. Before you get your act together, you're sitting at the, at, at the counter at the local uh, coffee shop, minding your own business, reading the sports page, and the God send his beauty to sit down beside you. She says, hi, how are you doing? Uh, it's not the right answer. Hi, I'm fine, how are you? My name's John, nice to meet you. Yeah, I like it here, I like the apple pie, chocolate ice cream, that's weird, huh? That is what you do when you realize that you're not going to die doing any of that. That takes a while. You have to have evidence that you make a pass and it's accepted. But usually the gods test you and you fuck it up because you're not ready yet. Patience also presents repo. Repo is a game women play for their own amusement and the amusement of their friends or they have a screw loose. Repo played by a uh, a sociopath is a game in which she wins and you lose and you are humiliated. Uh, repo played by women who aren't sociopaths are to make themselves laugh, make their friends laugh, to prove to themselves they could have gotten you. Okay, it's not crazy, it's just what they do. How do I know if I can go out with an older guy? Well, I'll talk to him. I'll come on to him and see what he does. If he comes on to me, I know I could have him. So don't come on to her. You have to wait till look. The signals are coming at you from body language. They're hitting you like comet storm. Okay, then you see bright green lights flashing in her eyes. That's when you make a move. That can't be faked very readily. So you're not gonna run into any great repo players. You're gonna run into girls who are doing it to show off for their girlfriend. See, I could have gotten Nick. She plays with the guys of any age. What does she do? She, she comes on, and then you make your move, and she recoils. I'm not that kind of girl, or some version of that. That's rape. Patience prevents that. You have to have at least three girls you're courting at once. This is assuming you're in the 18 to 24 age bracket, where I am, where I like to be. I'm not anymore, but I wish I were there. No matter how old you are, if you're, if you're Coming on to 18 to 24 year olds, you have to have three of them at once. And you have to make your rounds and you have to be in front of them three or four times a week. So you're not a stranger. This is another difficult thing for guys to grasp. Safe, interesting, and attractive. Sometimes it takes a week. It took six weeks to get Carlo to go to lunch with me. I got there because I had four years of fucking up behind me. <laughs> Ever since I got divorced, I've been fucking up. And I was learning every time. It's the only way you're going to learn any of this, guys. You have to go out there and fuck up. Then you have to go home, or ideally, watch your car and write down with a pencil and paper 
what I did, what happened, what I wish I would have done. So you grew in your head, what did I do? I looked at her tits. What happened? She must have seen me because everything got ice cold. What I wish I would have done. Now look at her tits. Okay. That's how you learn. You tell your subconscious next time, don't do this. Can't do anything about the one you fucked up, but learn from it. Don't just let it go to waste and feel sorry for yourself. You guys that are like 35 and up, you think she's a superstar. She's just as scared, just as lonely, just as afraid, just as horny as every other person on the planet. She just seems so fucking cool to you because she's young. She's not a woman, no matter how she acts. She's a frightened young girl. And you make one fucking mistake, poof, and it's all gone. You make just four pages of mistakes in courtship for you to learn from. The most dangerous enemy you face is from within. Your lack of confidence, you're too confident, you're too aggressive, or you're too passive. Those are hard to overcome. But they're overcome by practice and making mistakes. A lot of men don't like this part. You can't learn unless you make mistakes. So go out there and make some mistakes to learn from. Or you're going to stay right here until they close the lid on your casket. Change something. Be brave. Steel Balls is the name of my company. Grow up here. The, the entire enterprise is complex and complicated. But it's not that much different than dancing and prancing with a 40 year old, okay? Everybody wants to fuck. All we gotta do is figure out how we get to horizontal. When you pay attention to body language, you kind of know what's going on. But every once in a while, you get this feeling that she really is into me. I want to make my move now. If it feels like she's coming on to you, she's coming on to you. You can't bullshit yourself into that feeling. So do something. When it feels like she's coming on to you, say, Debbie, we ought to have coffee sometime. It's fun talking. Another tip about Rafo. If she's coming on to you and it's a little bit too blatant, she's probably a Rafo player. If it's too good to be true, it ain't. If you're an older man or say you're 25 and she's 17 or 18, you've got to be different. You can't have your ball cap on backwards like everybody else. You can't be driving a jacked up truck. You've got to be whoever you are, but your realness, whatever you are as a person, be that. Don't put on airs. Don't fake it because when she finds out you're done, be real, be patient, and be different. You're slower than other men. You're faster than other men, happier than other men. You're more fun than other men. You dress differently than other men. You get that book and you dress differently. Very few people know how to dress. And if you know how to dress, Women love it because they are clothes nuts. If you look good in clothes, she likes you automatically. You know what the fuck you're doing. You look put together is the, is the key phrase. She's from a different world. She wants to experience your world. You're different. You're a businessman. You go to San Diego. You go to Vegas. She wants to take part in that fun adult world. But don't go too fast because too fast, they put on the brakes and you're done. The 11 commandments of courtship. Thou shalt have a slim, trim body. You don't have to have muscles, but you can't have a pot belly, okay? Forget about it. Thou shalt be well-groomed, okay? No hair sticking out of your ears, no hair sticking out of your nose. You're well-groomed. Your shirts fit right, your clothes fit right. You read that book. Hopefully you're reading that book. You understand that. You must be well-groomed, shiny shoes. Thou shalt be dressed right. That means you're not overdressed for the party. You're not underdressed for the party. You're dressed appropriately to the situation. A little bit better is good. Like if everybody's got on a t-shirt and you have on a polo shirt, that's a little bit better, but not overdone. If you go there with a shirt and tie, wrong. You have to ask before you go if you can. I used to say, I'm thinking about wearing a suit. Is that a good idea? And she'll tell you, thou shalt smell good. Women are used to what the hell is this, the old spice, Women, every woman in every workshop hates axe. Don't buy any axe. Oh my God. Stay current on your cologne and easy does it with the cologne. Number five, thou shalt be relaxed and confident. This one is unbreakable. If you're nervous, she gets nervous. The end. Thou shalt shake hands and smile. Hi, Deb. Nice to meet you. 
So she'll talk at her level. What that means is no Krugerrands, no Swiss francs, no Proposition X, nothing. They don't give a fuck about politics. Keep it out of the conversation. They don't care about war. They don't care about abortion. They don't care about protest. They don't give a fuck. Talk about music, movies, uh, where you went last year, where are you going next year, stuff like that. That's, they care about that. Radiate no lust. That means you can't be looking at her tits. You can't look at her ass. You can't look at other women. You have to look at her like she's a good friend in the beginning. Laugh appropriately. A lot of guys think if they laugh, the girl thinks they're fun and having a good time. Laugh appropriately. Stay adult. In other words, laugh at things that appropriately laugh. So she'll remain adult. That means if you're 30, you can't act like a 20-year-old. If you're 40, you can't act like a 30-year-old. Act your age. You can be full of life and energy and make fun of yourself, but you can't be trying to be young. Don't do that. that it never works. It just falls flat like a fart in church. Here's the biggie. Thou shalt compliment once, one time, during the conversation, like today I'm going to go see a girl named Alicia, and I'm going to compliment her about something. I don't know what it'll be, but I'm going to say something. She has the same uniform on every day. Do you think she does change her earrings, change her uh, hair, and change her jewelry? So I'm going to notice something, and I'm going to say something. Oh, that looks nice. New ring, huh? What's your mom's? Oh, that's really pretty. The KY of civilization. How are you doing today? That's what makes relationships plausible. If you've ever seen wild animals, they are very with everybody and each other all the time. Human beings are like that too, unless we say, hey, Jim, how are you doing today? New shirt. Oh, that looks good on you. Okay, that, that's the KY. That makes everything happen. It's bullshit. Everybody understands it's bullshit, so say it. Until the next time, this is Don Steele saying, court that woman. She wants to be courted. She wants to feel like a romance is possible. Aloha.